It's Wednesday night, so we take you now to Duffy's Tavern with our guest tonight, Bert Gordon, the Mad Russian, and starring Archie himself, Ed Gardner. Duffy's Tavern is brought to you by Ipana Toothpaste. Ipana, the toothpaste that dentists prefer two to one over any other dentifrice for their own personal use, according to a nationwide survey. Hello, Duffy's Tavern. Where do you eat meat to eat? Archie, the manager speaking. Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Yep, tonight's the big night. Miss Duffy's coming out party. Huh? Is it formal, uh... No, Duffy, a uh, semi-formal. The dames come half-dressed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? <laughs> it ought to be a terrific coming-out party. Yeah, great coming-out party, Duffy. It's cut all the essentials. A rich father and an ugly daughter. <laughs> huh? You ain't rich. Well, I'm still batting 500. <laughs> uh, well, what time are you coming down, Duffy? Good. And it's the little woman... Uh, I mean, is uh, Mrs. Duffy coming down with you? <laughs> huh? She's getting a party dress fitted right now? You're helping the surveyors with the measurements. <laughs> well, hurry up and get down here, Duffy. Okay, see you later. Uh, Eddie. Uh, yeah, Mr. Uh, Eddie, I wish you would ascertain if everything has been taken care of by the Committee on Arrangements. You mean the entire committee? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a minute, I'll find out. Uh, is everything okay, Eddie? Yep, everything's okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Archer, the committee reports unanimously that everything has been ascertained. <laughs> well, in order to be the biggest coming out party of the season, Eddie, we have a very exclusive guest list. Very exclusive. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, did you, uh, may I, did you, invitations get out? Oh, yes, sir. The kids standing on the corner, hand them out right now. <laughs> Good. Uh, by the way, uh, did you read them invitations I made up? No. Uh, take a gander at them. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, monster coming out party. <laughs> <laughs> Admission one dollar. You are honored to be a guest at the coming out party and RSVP <laughs> to be held at Duffy's Tavern in memoriam of Miss Duffy. <laughs> Dearly beloved daughter of Honorable and Mrs. <laughs> M.T. M.T.? Members of Parliament? Mama and Pop. <laughs> uh, proceed ahead, Eddie. Yeah. Uh, P.S. Cuisine to start promptly at 9 o'clock and will continue until dinner. <laughs> Pretty good invitation, huh, Eddie? And uh, you will notice I had the printing embossed. Embossed? Yes, that raised lettering. Oh, yeah, well, that should come in handy after the guests get blind. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, any time you got dressed up for the party? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Uh, what do you think I ought to wear, Eddie? Me full-dress suit? Well, yes and no. What do you mean, yes and no? Well, you are, yes, you ought to wear one and no, you ain't got one. <laughs> hey, who's all coming tonight? Oh, you sort of guest list. Very swanky crowd. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Plato McGonagall. Uh, uh, Cavendish, the undertaker, and Lady Cavendish. Atwater McGurk. <clears throat> uh, Messrs. Uh, One-Eyed Goldfarb. And uh, his charming daughter, Cyclops. <laughs> Uh, Lightfinger Lynch and his escort, Dame May Fagan. <laughs> second Story Jackson and his wife, Fourth Story. That's his second wife, you know. <laughs> and it's Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Pharaoh Farouk. <clears throat> Very wealthy people, Eddie. What does he do? Oh, nothing. He's retired. Uh, made a fortune building obelisks. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Hey, look who's here, the guest of honor. Good evening, Miss Duffy. Hello, Archie. How do you like my new dress? Hmm, strapless, huh? What keeps it up? Mama, she sewed me into it. <laughs> um, Archie, an opinion. Do you like the fringe tunic? The fringe tunic? 
Uh, no, I don't quite see you in a fringe tunic. Uh, I see you more in a seersucker dangle <laughs> with uh, velvet pleats across the bias and uh, crepe de chine bolero uh, with an I.J. Fox midriff. You mean with a crisscross hemstick? Yes, that's it. <laughs> and a very sheer midriff, you know, the kind with a flouncy bodice to set off the lines in your peplum. <laughs> Of course, that's just one girl's opinion. Uh, <laughs> you can get a guy with the bait you got on more power to you. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, have you got a date tonight? No. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. Well, maybe this is the night Mr. Wright will come along. Oh, how will you know he's Mr. Wright? Easy. He'll be the one that asked me to marry him. <laughs> oh, well, that narrows down the field. Uh, good luck to you, Miss Duffy. I'll see you in a little while. Okay. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. You know, I feel sorry for the dame coming out partying and no date. I'd like to help her, but who can you get for her, you know? You, you can't get any guy that's in his right mind. Uh, hello, Art. <laughs> oh, hello, Finnegan. Uh, hey, Ash, I heard there's a big party going on here tonight with a lot of society dames. Uh, a smattering. Uh, oh. Why? Well, Art, would you introduce me to one of them young dowagers? The dowagers ain't the young dames. The dowagers is the old men. <laughs> and if you uh, want me to get your girl, don't forget this is a very high class party, and I want you to act very refined. None of them usual show off tricks of yours, you know, like putting your false teeth in the mashed potatoes. <laughs> well, gee, Arch, I gotta have a little fun. Uh, can I even do me nutcracker tricks? Uh, what's that again? Well, I asked the dame if she wants a nutcracker, see? And if she says yes, I crack her over the nut with a bottle. <laughs> I don't know, Finnegan. It sounds amusing. Try it once and see if it gets a laugh. <laughs> but if it don't, see that you tender the lady your apologies. Well, of course, Arch. Who's more of a stickler for form than me? <laughs> hey, hey, look, Arch, could you get me a girl for the party? Yep, I got just a girl for you. Who? Oh. Miss Duffy. Oh, no, you don't, Arch. <laughs> just a second, Finnegan. Try to think of the bright side of Miss Duffy. Well, that's pretty tough, Arch. Finding the bright side? No, trying to think. <laughs> well, you can do it if you try. Go ahead, sir. Think of something nice about her. Well, let's see. She, uh, no, she, uh, maybe you better go first. Uh. Let's see. She, uh, uh, she, she could be worse. Uh, uh, now it's your turn again. <laughs> well, frankly, Arch, I think we've exhausted all the possibilities. <laughs> You ought to get her a guy. Uh, hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. Give me that phone. Hello? Shotkins Escort Bureau? Uh, uh, mail order department, please. Yes, I want to order a mail. <laughs> Hello? Uh, mail order? Uh, I wonder if you could provide me with an escort for tonight. Look, bud, how would you like a punch in the nose? <laughs> this happens to be for a young lady. Huh? Is she single? Extremely. <laughs> would we take a Russian prince? Oh, sure. Sounds terrific. Yeah, we'll send him right over to Duffy's Tavern. Oh, boy, will Miss Duffy be happy? A real Russian prince. Oh, uh, hello? Oh, hello, Duffy. I got terrific news. I got a Russian prince for Miss Duffy. No, Duffy, this is no pony. This is the real ersatz. <laughs> well, Duffy, we had to do the best we could. You, you know, the, the dame ain't getting no younger. She's been having these coming out parties now for 15 years. <laughs> In fact, she's come out on the same day so often that in groundhog circles, it's getting to be known as Miss Duffy Day. <laughs> okay, well, hurry up and get down here.
friends, listen. If you want to make your teeth brighter, your smile more sparkling, then listen to what we learned from dentists in a nationwide survey. Dentists prefer Ipana toothpaste two to one over any other dentifrice for their own personal use. So why don't you try Ipana and see for yourself why Ipana is so popular with dentists? See how Ipana can help your teeth to a brightness, your smile to a loveliness you never thought possible. And in such an easy way, too. Here's all you have to do. Brush your teeth regularly with Ipana. Then with a fingertip, briefly and gently massage the gums along the line where they meet the teeth. This gum line is most important because your smile needs healthy gums as well as bright teeth to stay radiant and sparkling. So between regular visits to your dentist, Give your gums and teeth this special Ipana care. Why not start right now with Ipana? Ipana, for your smile of beauty. Gee, uh, Eddie, a real Russian prince coming down here. You know, it, it makes even me nervous. I ain't talked to royalty in so long, I'll probably kiss the wrong foot. <laughs> You know, why, why, why don't you throw a protocol to the winds and just touch it? Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Good evening, Archie, my boy. Oh, uh, good evening, Officer Clancy. What's new? Oh, nothing much. I uh, just see by the papers we're due for a long, dry spell. Yeah, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hearts is a man's mouth just to think about it. Uh-huh. Why don't you try thinking about something else, Clancy? Maybe you... <laughs> Maybe it won't be so parchy. <laughs> hmm. I uh, hear you're having a party here tonight. That's right. Have you got a singer? Well, Miss Duffy will probably sing. No, no, I mean some big opera star like that, uh, you know, uh, what's his name again? Uh, uh Melchior? No. Uh, Tibbet? No, no, I, I'm thinking of Nino, uh, Nino, uh... uh Martini? Thank you, and leave out the olive. <laughs> up entirely too much room. Okay, Clancy. Here you are. Here's the martini. Well, here's good luck to the party. I hope the guests don't get obstreperous. Obstreperous? Stinking. <laughs> you know, like they did last year. Remember how Callahan put away a whole pint and then kept kissing Dugan's wife till Dugan punched him in the nose? Dugan got sore, huh? Certainly. It was his pint. <laughs> <laughs> so then... Then the wife turned around and walloped Dogan for hitting Callahan. And poor old Dogan wound up in the hospital with repercussion of the brain. Repercussion? He socked him twice. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Archie. Well, so long, Clancy. See you at the party. Oh, uh, Eddie, look, uh, when that Russian prince gets here, be sure to let me know, huh? Well, uh, how would I recognize him? Well, it's easy to tell a prince, Eddie. They all got that aristocratic look, you know. Uh, tall, charming... Dashing, handsome. How do you do? <laughs> Just a second. Are you the Russian prince? What do you expect for five bucks? The Rasputin? <laughs> Anyhow, welcome to Duffy's Tavern. Uh, what do you think of the joint? It reminds me of the Russian secret police. The Russian secret police? O-G-P-U. <laughs> I haven't seen anything like it since I left Minsk. Oh. You lived in Minsk? Also in Pinsk. How did you like it? Stinsk. <laughs> Free lunch. Beautiful. Say, this is delicious. You mean you like it? Most of course. My compliments to the chef. Hey, you hear that, Eddie? Yes. Too bad the chef ate some. He could hear it, too. Uh, here, here, Prince. Uh, make yourself at home. Pull up a stuffed Cossack and... Uh... <laughs> what did you do? Uh, tell me, uh, when did you leave Russia? I left during the revolution. Oh. How? Very quickly. <laughs> well, uh, why did they kick you out, Prince? Too many princes and not enough blinzes. <laughs> Oh, is that... At that time, you see... Yes? I was living in the palace of my uncle, the Grand Duke Ivanovich, Vyderovich, Alexandrovich, Petrovich, Itch. What happened to him? They scratched him. <laughs> then an unfortunate incident in the court. They sent me to Siberia. Oh, must have been pretty cold, wasn't it? Cold is, uh, gold. 
It's so cold in Siberia. The only thing that circulates is the propaganda. <laughs> well, it must have been fun in Russia in the old days before the revolution, oh, huh? Riding around in the snow on them samovars with the <laughs> little bells tinkling and making love to them pretty little drashkis. <laughs> uh, and that Russian music. You like Russian music? I you? love it. Rachmaninoff, Chichikowski, <laughs> uh, Stravinsky, Paderewski. Just a second, Paderewski was Polish. In them days, so was Poland. <laughs> Prince, I think this party tonight will remind you of the old days. I hope the party won't be too wild. I remember back in Russia, we had a party one night where we went swimming with all our clothes on in the, uh, uh the, uh... uh vulgar? Mm, disgusting. <laughs> By the way, this girl I'm escorting tonight, describe her to me, please. Hair? Yes. What color? The dame will make it any color you want. I see, I see. And the face? What about it? Smooth shaven. <laughs> Just like a pitch. <laughs> you, you'll love her, Prince. Uh, by the way, uh, on a job like yours, when you meet dames like this for the first time, uh, what's your technique? You see? <laughs> First, I grew to her similar Rudy Wally. Old Russian lullabies like June is bursting out all over. <laughs> or perhaps the Shostakovich song. The Shostakovich song? Shostakovich small by a waterfall. <laughs> then I breed, I breed moderately hot breath on her neck like this. It didn't work. By this time, ecstasy has set in. My, my blue blood has reached the boiling point. I'm on fire. She's on fire. The room is filled with smoke. Then I put my arms around her, and suddenly the clock is striking 12 o'clock, midnight. Then what? That's ah, beautiful. From now on, she's paying me time and a half. <laughs> Making love for money. Don't that make you feel kind of ashamed of yourself? Only when I work too cheap. <laughs> uh, by the by, where is the young lady I'm expecting to restore? Ex extort. Extort. <laughs> Written writing, this is. <laughs> we'll have it in Russian dialogue the next time. Please. Much more, uh, okay, please. I'll call your escort. <clears throat> oh, Miss Duffy. Uh, yes? Well, here she is, Prince. This is a woman. <laughs> yep. This is Miss Duffy. Uh, she's coming out tonight. Is that wise? <laughs> Please, Prince. Uh, Miss Duffy, I would like uh, for you to meet a real Russian prince. This is Prince... Uh... Uh, allow me. The name is Prince Petrovich Alexandrovich. Just call me Ishii. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, the prince here, Miss Duffy, is going to escort you to the party tonight. A prince? Oh, Archie, I can't believe it. It couldn't happen to me. I must be dreaming. I think I'll pinch myself. Allow me. <laughs> Thank you. Prince, come here. I'm all yours. Just a minute. Miss Duffy, this place is too big for us, too. I think I'll go. But, Prince, you made a bargain. But I... But do I have to go down to the basement? But what about the five bucks? Forget about it. Well, what will the escort bureau say? Let him fire me. But, Prince, Miss Duffy's father is a rich man. How do you do? <laughs> Let me look on you, my dear. Uh-huh. Your hair, your eyes, your ears, your lips. What about them? You have them all. <laughs> Tonight, I will make love to you. Tonight, I will make love to you. Tonight, I will make love to you. Prince, your needle's stuck. <laughs> I'm trying to talk myself into it. <laughs> Miss Duffy, you are beautiful. You are gorgeous. 
You are charming. Quick, some vodka. <laughs> Miss Duffy, you are the most beautiful girl in the world. Be gone, my princess. And I shall join you with the cash register later. <laughs> or is what, sweet prince? I shall be dying every minute you are away from me. And when I return? I shall drop dead. <laughs> Now that you met Miss Duffy, is uh, there any last request? Yes. Yes. A cigarette, please. No blindfold. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> Say, Archie. Oh, hello, Clancy. Hey, I forgot to tell you. Oh, hello, Trotsky. Good evening, Officer Clancy. You still know each other? Takes care of me every night down at the Russian Kretschmer. The Russian Kretschmer? Of course. Best doorman they ever had. A dormy. And I told Duffy he was a prince. Have no fear, my friend. From now on, I will be a prince. I will play the part to perfection. Well, you better. Or you'll be one Russian who won't walk out. <laughs> Friends, you'll be delighted at what can happen to your smile when you use Ipana. For Ipana toothpaste can help your teeth to a brightness, your smile to a loveliness you never thought possible. And so easily, too. Listen, here's all you do. Brush your teeth regularly with Ipana. Then with the fingertips, briefly and gently massage the gums along the line where they meet the teeth. This line is the lifeline of your smile. For you need firm, healthy gums as well as bright, sparkling teeth to keep your smile lovely. So between regular visits to your dentist, Guard your smile this special Ipana way. For remember, it's Ipana. Ipana toothpaste for your smile of beauty. Uh, great party, huh, Eddie? Everybody happy? Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. O'Toole is talking to each other for the first time in two years. That's nice. Yeah, I just served them with their 20th beer, and they don't recognize each other. Well, that's swell, Eddie. Uh, hey, how about livening up the party with a Russian song, Eddie, in honor of our guest? No, huh? now, Mr. Arch. Go ahead. The guests is all stiff. They won't mind. Hey, Clancy. Yes, yes, uh, Clancy, Eddie's going to sing a song. Uh, rap on Moriarty's skull for order while I make an announcement, huh? Okay. And the rest of you stay quiet, too. Okay, folks. We will now be rendered with a song by that great little singing waiter and vocalist, Eddie Green. Let's give him a little hand. you them, them vulgar bold men is lifting them bodies and holding them bells. Ah, oh, them vulgar boatmen, listen to them rocking that vulgar boat. Talking about that vulgar boatman, got no hat, he ain't got no coat, he's higher and higher, higher and lower. Ah, oh, them boatmen, rocking on Lennox's ass. That's all. <laughs> Bravo, 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 Bublitsky, bravo. Archie, how about me singing my song now? Okay, Miss Duffy. Folks, we will now hear... Uh... Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello, Duffy, where are you? Huh? Mrs. Duffy was hit by a truck? Oh, that's terrible. Anything broken? The radiator and two fenders, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened to Mrs. Duffy? Just bent her bumper, huh? <laughs> well, look, put her in the garage and hurry up over. The party's going on. Okay. As I was saying, folks, we will now hear a song by our guest of honor, Miss Duffy, accompanied by Clifton Finnegan and Prince Itchy. But, Archie, I'm supposed to sing the song all alone. If you do, you will be. <laughs> well, folks, here they are. A lad, a lass, and a lack. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll get you the pneumonia. Oh, teacher. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 You are lashing up the national anthem of Russian Cafe Society. <laughs> Permit me. Oh, teacher. That was corny, could be funny. Oh, my honey. With your money, California. Here I come. Me, you're killing. Oh, just a chilling. I leave the bowery. Make life lowry. How's your dowry? Don't get fresh. Ochitonia! Hey! Ochitonia! Hey! Ochitonia! Hey! Hey! Wait for me! My stuffy's voice. Beautiful. We Russians love to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> then you mean you'll propose to her? Why not? She's not so old. Maybe her voice will change. <laughs> you mean you'll really marry her? It's either this or I go back to Siberia. <laughs> Miss Duffy, my little Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> you are beautiful. All my life, I dreamed of you. Some more vodka, please. <laughs> you are my inspiration. Just being with you makes my blood tingle. So you mean you like me? Frankly, no. <laughs> but you have touched the purse strings of my heart. <laughs> Miss Duffy, I wish you to do me the honor of becoming... Wait! What is that thing? What? That horrible monster coming through that door. Horrible monster? Prince, that's Duffy. Hello, Duffy. That's my father-in-law, Booby. Yeah. Wait a minute, Prince. Where are you going? Back to Siberia. <laughs> Mr. Wallington, do me a favor. Why, of course. Introduce me to that fellow over there, the smooth one who looks so good-natured. Smooth-shaven, smiling. That's Bob. He uses Ingram shaving cream for close, clean shaves that are cooling to his face and his temper. That rich Ingram lather helps condition his face for the razor. Yes, men, comfort means coolness. Coolness means Ingram. I-N-G-R-A-M. Ingram, the cooler shaving cream. Keep smooth, yet keep smiling. Use cool, comfortable Ingram. <laughs> It's time now to leave Duffy's Tavern for this evening, but let's be here again at the same time next Wednesday when our guests will be Harry Bonzel and Mr. Sidney N. Strokes, NBC Vice President. Until next Wednesday, then, this is Jimmy Wallington reminding you that Duffy's Tavern is brought to you by Ipana Toothpaste. Try Ipana for your smile of beauty. Bristol Myers brings you the Alan Young Show on Friday night. And Mr. District Attorney, which follows immediately over most of these stations. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.